Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, another week has gone by, so now I have some more pickups, but not too much. So I'm gonna do a little bit something extra at the end of the video for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I didn't have any trades, and I didn't have any eBay purchases. Uh, just one quick little purchase I did. Uh, a while back, but I just now got it finally. So, go ahead and get started with that. I ended up picking up for around a little bit less than five dollars each. Uh, several games, but uh, two of the game or three of the games I mentioned in my trade sale video. Uh, but these four, I'm going to end up keeping. Uh, the first game here is Bushido Blade, Alundra 2, Medieval 2, and for the Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure 2. And the other three games were Silent Hill, Greatest Hits, uh, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Final Bout, or Z, I can't remember exactly, and um, Siphon Filter, greatest hits. So yeah, I got those for a little bit less than five bucks each. Uh, On to the garage sale stuff. I picked up for a dollar the Dukes of Hazard Daisy Dukes It Out. Um, just didn't have it, and I figured a dollar might as well pick it up. And for a dollar fifty each, I picked up. Tekken Tag, and it is complete, Hitman 2, and Resident Evil 2, and this one's a double, so this one would be up for trade or sell if anyone's interested, and this next item I got at a game store, but I've traded a bunch of doubles for the PS1, or the PS2, and they ended up giving me quite a bit in store credit. It surprised me actually. And I ended up getting this game just because of the rarity of it for me to find it for my long box collection. And it is XCOM UFO Defense. It does not look like a great game at all, but for my long box collection, it's definitely needed. Um, and I ended up getting like $55 in store credit, which really surprised me for about maybe 25 uh, PS2 games that were pretty common. Uh, it's just I'd already had them or they just aren't really what I needed. And then I went into Toys R Us um, and see what games they have because generally Toys R Us is one of the few stores I like to go to to see discount games. But they ended up having a bit of a sale for Nintendo Wii and DS games. If you bought three, you got them for 30 bucks. And the range of games you could get were from anything that was listed $14.99 to $19.99, so 15 to 20 bucks. But I ended up getting. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded for the DS and two copies of Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. Um, these I ended up just getting because to get the deal uh, for 3 for 30. I only wanted a Kingdom Hearts game so if anyone's looking for brand new sealed Sonic Racing games uh, let me know. Uh, they'd be up for trade or sale. Um, I mean, it's I would keep one, but I just wanted a Kingdom Hearts game. Now, the main reason I went to Toys R Us was I heard on the radio that this game was pretty much half off, and I've been wanting to get this game for a while because it seems interesting to me. And the game here is Skylanders Giants. Now, um, when I first heard about this game, pretty much everybody's just like, it's a kid's game, it's, you know, a 
a cash scheme to get kids to buy the little toys. But honestly, Pokemon's a kid's game, and it's one of the greatest games I think many people have played. And yeah, it deals with toys, but to me it's just like if you were going to get physical Pokemon for your game and play those Pokemon inside the game, but it is a, a bit of a cash sink and I don't plan to invest too much into it, but it looked like a good game and so I want to get a tr uh, give it a try. I uh, got it for my Wii U, so something new to play. Um, so that was it for my pickup, so I decided to make this video a little bit more entertaining or a little bit more lengthy is I want to do a little bit of the first mission if there or tutorial whatever I don't I haven't played this game yet uh, to show you guys what it's all about I know that it, there's a lot of videos for this game out there but um, to me it doesn't look like too much of a kids game I love Spyro and I love Pokemon and if Pokemon's a kids game then you know I should like this uh, to me it would feel like a Pokemon game but so I'm gonna go ahead and try this game out alright guys I started up Skylanders here and I decided to skip all the intros and everything not to spoil anything for you guys if you do decide to pick this up um, went ahead and it asked me to put Skylander on and I went ahead and picked Cinder which is one of the three that came with the starter pack and I want to go ahead I guess and get started here cool. I'm one of the sack those little sheep press the attack button to clear this debris Quite a destructive world. Uh, let's see, what's this? I want to take a guess and actually switch out to the giant that came with it and see if maybe that's something I need to do. Some boulder here. Flying giant, that's always entertaining. Doesn't look like I can get in there. It's quite it's quite interesting. It had to just switch out. I wanna go ahead and pick the other character I came with, Jetback. Hawk and I love this uh, voice acting that they give each character. Doesn't look like there's anything there. I'm going to go ahead and jump back down. You can interact with certain objects by pressing the action button. Turtle. turtle. Push the stubborn yeah. creature out of the way. Being a little bully to this uh, turtle here. I know one thing in this game is there's no jumping function, so it's always like a puzzle when trying to figure out how to get cross gas, which is quite interesting. Can be found all throughout Skyland, even in ancient times. All right, I'm lost in treasure. Spoils of war. Push this other turtle here. Quite a beautiful world, actually. Um, being on the Wii U, I don't know if it's just because it's HP. It's really good. Yeah. Stay back, you things! Uh, I'm warning you. Oh, Use your attack to defeat the chumps. I knew one day help would come, and here you are. Quickly. 
Not a bad tutorial. Listen, everyone! The Skylanders are here! They're gonna free us so we can get home! We're safe! I know a secret way into the tunnels, but we need you to take care of the guards. My name's Gigantus, and I want to help, too. Uh, I might be a little thick-headed, but maybe I can show you a few things. It's good to be giant, because you can do stuff like this. All right. So what it looks okay, like I'm going to have to switch back to my giant. Go. Hey, look. I see something. Rock ham. Hmm. Alright, go ahead and switch to T Rex or Tree Rex. Be a friend of the bird. Giants can lift these boulders. Looks like there's treasure underneath them. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just that one. Soul gem found. Soul gem for shroom boom. Alright, so it looks like you unlock new powers. I want to go ahead and not preview, just uh, skip it. Check it out another time. I don't have shroom boom, so I don't think I'd be able to use it anyways. Another cool thing giants can do in certain places. Geronimo! Well, use a giant to leap down and break through cracked stone. Well, it looks like there's actually some stuff down here, so I wanna. I'm a bit of an explorer in these games. Treasure. Nothing wrong with some treasure. Oh, right. I constantly see it saying join game. I don't know if this is a multiplayer co-op game. I haven't heard much about it being that. What he just got one. By the benevolent agents. A Skylander. Here. Say, I think a giant could break right through that cracked stone. Alright, so that's something I already know. Let's go ahead and get back up there. Try and get there quicker. Go ahead and make the leap of fate. More treasure. That's what I was talking about. This is a chompy pit, an unpleasant place Archeans often put prisoners. Chompy pit. Defeat all the enemies in here to open this gate. Not too bad. We charged right into him. That was easy. I'm huge. Tell he's not gonna be as easy. Oh well. The gate is now Two open. hits and he's gone. So, I guess he was easy. Hey! Up here, Skylander! Just use those bounce pads. Use this bounce pad to reach the top. Some watermelon in the cave. Oh, yeah. Looks 
secret passage? Oh, no, it's just taking me back. so far. Uh, a lot of action for a little supposedly kid's game. <laughs> Lots of voice action. It's always entertaining to do that. says you're helping us escape. If you're looking for a little extra power, there's something over there that might help. Only problem is, you need to be a life element to get life to Life element. Well, I think T-Rex is life. So... Alright. That's another interesting thing, is it has to collect, try and collect as many figures as possible. To unlock these little special areas. Root runner. More copies. Looks like there's a little present for me over there. He doesn't like me stepping on him. There we go. A uh, pumpkin of some sort. Oh, it's a hat. Speed plus two. So that's cool. It's sort of like the equipment in any other game. Go ahead and wear that. Wear a pumpkin on his head. Quite interesting. Feels like Team Fortress 2 now. Uh, I've not seen a way to get up there and throw whatever that is up there, but it doesn't seem to be causing a problem. Oh. I might be able to just jump off. Skylander, that's the Archean Conquer guarding the mine. Alright, pretty big guy there. This is really... And believe me, he's tough. Really good looking, I mean... <laughs> See? But if you could just break I'm amazed, those really. It's, holding him it's up, surprising me. We'll be I mean, I've free. watched gameplay of this. I just try not to watch too much. Not to spoil it for myself. And... I want to go ahead and end it there for you guys. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in this game. Uh, I certainly am. And uh, I did pick this game up at Toys R Us for $30. So it was half off. Um, pretty good deal. It's about what it's going to use online. So I figured an air Might as well get it. Um, I know there's a new one coming out sometime this year that... I have some interest in, and perhaps this is something I'll do on a regular basis. It, it's, it looks certainly fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video.